<laughs> so <-Kal> sucks. <laughs> oh yeah, I did do that. No, actually, no. Strides, strides did that. that strides. strides. I will. I will not take no, that I, away I from remember, Strides. Never. I remember, ever. I remember that very day. It's funny because that very day was when we ate when he was grinding, so we all just took a picture with hashtag SoCal sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's like so crazy. Like just thinking back on all that stuff. Oh man. Yeah. It's like so wild because like Loki, I forget about it because we haven't been to a local for so long, right? But. This feels like so nostalgic because everything's rushing back to me all at once. It's all about, it's all part of the lore. Yeah, it's all part of the lore, baby. All right, we got bag. We got HLB's bag. Um, so HLB's been also doing really well in the 818. Uh, Nidwala, he took Charlie to game five uh, on Saturday. Nice. And Charlie was like, I really don't want to play him. Like, he's Brawler, really good. man. Brawler is, and he's been playing Brawler for quite some time, right? Yeah. Yeah, and like, uh, Brawler just got buffed. I feel like Brawler is just generally underrated, but. Yeah, I mean, Larry's been picking them up, right? Yeah, like, there, yeah. there's there's been more representation of the character. And the crazy thing about this character is there, there's so many ways you can run him. I think the the thing that's the most, like, versatile is the upbeat. It, it really comes down to, like, what, what upbeat do you use, right? Yeah. Because then that changes your out-of-shield options. That changes, like, how you combo with helicopter kick. You're going to look for, like, more down tilts or falling up airs into the helicopter kick for a horizontal setup. Oh, there it is. That move is broken. Yes. Like, that move, if you get it on the ground, you get a tap. Oh. Okay, that move, you get it on the ground, you get on the platform tech chase, that's like 40% off two command guns. It's crazy. So HLB is using the, uh, the the super jump punch up B. I don't know the exact name of it, but essentially it's the Mario up B. Um, so you're going to see HLB look for more like ladder setups, yeah. um, usually out of like throws or anything like that. You're going to have platform extensions as well. And it's oh also, my man, God. caught the needle charge and caught the, the kind of greedy double jump there from Void. Yeah, HLB is so good at punishing you if you try to overextend on it. And it's very hard to hit him. And oh yeah, Brawler. I wouldn't say Brawler is a very mobile, like as mobile as like say Fox, but it's right. very hard to hit HLB in my in my experience. Oh, oh. no, okay. no raindrop. Um, I think he missed uh, one of the hits, right? Yeah, probably missed one of the hits, or just maybe the up smash came out a little too late. Boy, trying to fish for this falling there, um, but of course HLB gonna have the nair as well. Yeah. Okay. At this point, let's see what Boy's gonna try to do to get the kill. Probably a nair or needle setup. And th this is where it can get a little struggling now. HLB can kind of disengage almost every situation at this 138% mark with a yeah. double jump, with the flip jump, right? Yeah, and Sheik's got probably going to start dying uh, soon to an up B setup. If he keeps this rage, that is. Yeah. Hey, that move's really good too. Uh oh. Made it didn't come out. Wow, HLB is just tacking on the damage right yeah. now. Look at this. Um, maybe even an up B out of shield or some kind of up B setup will take the stock as well. Boyd has to play this very patiently here, 161%. Okay, yeah, there's the back there. Nice. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, still, HLB racked up 100% already. That is quite a bit of damage. Yeah. A solid smash attack or tech chase setup will definitely do it. And this neutral B is really not, good. Not yet. But something Void might have to just be looking out for is, is getting an edge guard because by choosing that up, the HLB gives up his uh, recovery from low. Yeah, yeah. He does have the flip kick, but uh, you can bait it out. Yeah, th that flip jump definitely uh, definitely discounts Zero Suit. There's a way bigger window to punish it. You also don't have the intangibility on the startup. Yeah. So. Okay, that's ooh, it. Yep. Wow, just calling it out. HLB very, very confident here on this first game, and it is doing him wonders. Already, look, 32, uh, pretty much like lapping Void in percent right now. We're, we're going to need a Void combo, right? About here? No, he didn't. That was an opportunity back for someone. Drag down. Oh, try to get a down smash just for like damage in an offstage situation. You can really tell Void is itching for the edge guard right now. And okay, man. Void has to watch out. If he gets side bead, that's that could be an SB. Like I mean, uh, a suicide kill. Right, right. Especially in this corner, HLB looks for it a lot. So. Okay, gets the grab. Tries to get the up smash here, but HLB doing such a good job with this stock tanking, man. Oh, okay. There's the punish, the dash attack. Maybe Void could have set up like a forward tilt punish there. I know the kick is pretty laggy. Yeah. Oh man, big damage off the Sour Nair. Okay, that might be it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. 54, Void can definitely do that if he gets a good combo. Yeah, oh. I, I, I thought HLB was going to take the stock a little bit farther in terms of just like from the what we saw from the first two stocks. Yeah. Um, but Void was able to clean it out with that forward tilt into the up air on the platform. There's hey. no flip jump. Seems like Void's found some control now. And Sheik with control oh. is very scary. Yeah, and those needles are just a bit off. If Void didn't, he jumped in place with them. If he dashed into him, he would have connected those needles. Okay. HLB has not gotten a solid hit in, in a long time. Yeah, Sheik neutral. <laughs> yeah, but it's still last hit, so yeah. gotta be careful. Oh man, and 
with these trades, I, I feel like it's a little beneficial for HLB here in terms of just getting a stray KO. But at this percentage, Void does have some, uh, you know, setups online here. If you can get some kind of setup into the drag down. Oh, oh another my trade. God. Almost an awful trade. I mean, it was an awful trade. It's something worse. Oh, the great DI away from those needles on HLB. That's very good in awareness. The drag down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the cross up as well. Yeah, Void getting it. And HLB kind of letting that game one slip from his hands. He, yeah. he, he honestly really had that. I, I felt like, especially that last stock, I thought he was going to tank for a lot longer. And I feel like the way I'm very impressed by HLB's uh, DI, um, just from Void's combos in general. He's DIing out these forward tilts correctly, the needles correctly, and he's able to disengage and create some of these trade scenarios afterwards with the flip jump kick or with the nair, you know? Because, like, you know, me doesn't, me isn't that mobile in the air in terms of, like, the actual speed. Yeah. I, I feel like the, the defense that me, like, has is just, like, that nair is so meaty, it's so, so quick. Good. It's, it's so, so good. Quick. It's so quick. You can't whip punish it. Like, you just, you straight up can't. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. It's, like, it's definitely one of the better nairs, obviously, depending on, like, what you're looking for in a nair, but Nair, particularly with uh, Mii's kit, is so good. And, you know, if he hits the, the falling Nair, usually, like, some kind of grab or tilt follow-up. or it, it, It's insane. So in the next game... We're going to have to see if HLB opens up the same way because uh, Void seemed to have figured out a lot throughout the end. Because yeah. HLB didn't get a solid hit for, I would say, maybe 30, 40, 50 seconds. Even yeah. though it was close, uh, you know, you can't give you can't give these top-level players t enough time to adapt. Yes, yes. I completely agree. It, it definitely felt like, um, especially that last stretch too, like Void would get a hit and just kind of jump up, do a, do a little pump fake, and not really commit to anything, and get HLB's flip yeah. jump, yeah. or get HLB's double jump. I feel like sometimes, even if you're fighting a top level player, yes, it's scary, but sometimes you after you get hit, you just gotta fast fall down and reset. Like, yeah. so, you have to understand when someone's in that mode of like, I'm trying to bait something out mode, right? Like, I'm not actually swinging here, I'm just trying to get you to do something. Yeah. And you need to call that and punish that out and just reset neutral. And it doesn't feel like a punish, because you're not hitting them, but it technically is a punch, right? They're losing. Okay. Their Wait a minute. Oh wow, Void missing the ledge here. HLB. HLB 70 from one opening, and now we're at the ledge. These neutral bees off stage are just doing mad work. Yeah. Okay, back to neutral. The nares are out. <laughs> yeah, they have the same nair. Kind of. Ooh. Uh, okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. HLB. Sure. All right. I see you. All right. Oh, that was the and, and that, that traded with the fair, maybe Void just doing a like a panic fair out of shield here or panic nair. Yeah, yeah. HLB uh, kind of proving wrong. He's doing just about the same. Going for an S smash. What a whiff punish. Oh, on the platform. Oh, he waited. Yeah. And even hey, same oh. way. Okay. Same way he did with the first block last game. Yeah, yeah. Catching the double jump there or just some, some kind of like greedy drift in with the back air there. HLB trying to get something started here. Obviously, a grab will do him wonders. He is on PS2 as well, so these uh, these platforms here definitely is going to be a combo extender for HLB. If you can get something set up on there, we can reset and then go straight into the uh, up B combo. Very similar to like the Mario ladder right here. Uh -oh. Could be it. He oh, got the air dodge. Oh, he didn't swing. Yeah, that was a rising up and up B free. Yeah. That, that was the sock right there, but HLB did not pull the trigger. Maybe a little bit of nerves coming in here, but he's still surviving 174%. Yeah, so he's not, he doesn't have much, many resources. He still makes it back. Okay, he, Man, dealing with Sheik in the corner is not fun. Yeah, but he's up a lot, so he has time. Oh, tried okay. to get the... Nice, yeah. Just just getting back to the center stage. I agree. Yeah. Boy tried to get the uh, the jab jab into the dash attack. That can be true at the at these later percents, but it can be a very Ooh. tight window and the YOLO yeah. vanish. <laughs> it works. It works. Yeah, yeah. Those are those are the uh, those are the options that you kinda of sometimes you just shrug and you're like, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, drag down? Oh, oh no drag up. down. Interesting. Maybe Boy just wants to fan him out to the right there just to try to set up an edge guard. Yeah, maybe. Okay, okay. Ooh. That was scary. Oh, he went to the ledge though. Not the, the safest, but decently safe. Obviously, if you do that without a ledge to go to, you're going to get hard punished there. Boy trying to get something started, but the reset, the falling there, does get a trade here. At this point, trades aren't too bad for Void since he's, uh, you know, not in the lead here. It depends. He probably has probably got like two or three things he can kill with. Back yeah. air, uh, up smash probably. Um, probably a flip kick. I really want, like, again, I, I feel like the big thing that's one of the big reasons why HLB is doing so well in this matchup is, is honestly the defense. His defense against uh, Void yeah. Sheik here is 
Do you very, know why? Because he, he's played, before he made me Brawly, he played defensive characters only. Jigglypuff, uh, right, I was, okay, Belmont, okay. Yeah, yeah. Plant. I was going to say, I think H.O.B. did play Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But so. now he's, he's the solo uh, Brawly. Uh, definitely an upgrade. You know. Definitely an upgrade. <laughs> So definitely glad he's playing a uh, better character. Okay, yeah, but Void chipping back until he loses the stock still. He's Is that an air? That was an air. And it kills! What doesn't it do? Uh, he was at like 160 and it's true. Cheap. true, true. Oh, oh, that, that was bad. not worth. Oh, wait a minute. Great. Oh, Ended up on the other side there. It's because the way he dragged him down, he was, he was already behind him. Yeah. If you're, if you're uh, drifting back, they will end up behind you mm, on, a, on a drag down. Oh, the air dodge. What's left here? The double jump still available here for HLB. And this ledge drop double jump fair has been doing work for him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, my goodness. That's How a much, lot of percent. That is so much damage. HLB's not slowing down. He's in the same position as he was in the first game. He's yeah. not slowing down. Yeah. This time, we really would want to see HLB able to close it out, though. Um, th again, like you said, this was the position he was in, right? But Void was able to seal it out. Void just needs one solid hit here to reset the no, stock count, but if no. I, if I, oh, oh my, my that double, bro. Oh my I've God. never. That's it. Oh my. That's it. Wow. Okay. Bowling ball into a bowling ball. So if I'm Void right now, I'm sweating because there's there's only a couple of things that he's gone for and HLB has not fallen for it. It's, it's like these panic options where most people would panic. Like he went for a run up up smash and HLB didn't panic in that slot. Right, right. But these are things like if you're if you know you're you know you're a top level player and you're playing against someone who's on the come up, you there's spots where people panic. Right. When they right. when they're about to you make an up smash. You can sense the fear. You can sense the fear. Yes. HLB didn't show that fear. So now Void has to make many more adaptations. Yeah. And so he, he barely won game one. He just he, Game two, that was we, too soft. We might see a switch. We might. No, okay. Oh We're going to stick it out with the sheet. No. Okay. Boy, does have other characters in his yeah, arsenal, obviously, but um, I know for the most part, he's been kind of adamant on like I, just kind of sticking out with sheet. I think it's fine. It's just that, I don't know. He, he's he's got to make some adaptations. I don't really know what to say. H was playing really well. Yeah, even even if Void has to slow it down, you have the needles. You okay, have, you, you, do. you know what I mean? Like, you, you can play FD that. Too. We're, we're on FD, so I'm kind of thinking maybe that's like the style Void wants to go for here. Maybe try to control the ground with more needles. Yeah. Um, try to cash out uh, more advantage state. And even Void kind of cutting his combos a little shorter there, the, the rapid jab right into the needles there, might just go to show how he's planning on playing this game number three. Now, this is, this is still pools. So this, this is, is best of pools. three. Yeah. Let's get the tech chase there. This is a very close set. Okay, so far so good. Back and forth. Yeah, and, and the flip jump gonna be uh, not as powerful on the stage. You don't have the cross up. Yep. That that jab cross up. See, I, I knew it because I've I play void, but that it always it, it gets you that, a lot. That, yeah, that would have gotten me. Yeah, yeah. You, you got crossed up. <laughs> I right? got crossed. Hundred percent. <laughs> oh, that that is it. Wow. And okay, oh, so man. here's the thing with Sheik. If if Sheik takes like. One or two stocks at around, you know, the 100, the 110 mark, that's where Sheik is, like, yes. shining the most, right? Like, yes. that's when it's like, okay, this character with broken neutral just killed me with a setup at around 100%, supposed to struggle, quote-unquote, with killing, right? So that's where it can get tough. But now, and Boyd didn't have to use that to close the gap. He's got the lead here, 35%. Yeah, yeah. This is the first time we've seen him with the stock lead. So this is going to be scary because HLV is a player where... If if it's if it's a close game five and he's behind, he, he starts to panic. Yeah, and I mean, but having right the now, lead, having the lead, that's really important, right? So yeah. maybe Void is going to be able to get some of the more panic options, okay. but in seventy-two, that's not much for me, brawler. That, that was a you can crazy call out too. Um, yeah. Kind of reminiscent to like a, how Kent will use the show you can to kind of call your jumps out, and it will even scoop you if you're playing grounded just without shield. Man, grenade at the ledge is so messed up. It just forces an option, yeah. and there covers most of those options. Yeah, it's really good. And when you when anything that can control the timing in which your opponent picks a ledge option is just going to be really strong. Yes, sir. Diddy pop gun, yes, you know, sheet grenade. Ooh, very good catch. Yeah, and boy, finally, uh, you know, sensing some of this fear, getting some of these panic options, and not only getting them. Yeah. but punishing them as well. No rage on HLB. That's not going to get the stock, but tacking on a good amount of damage. Here's the opening, though. Try to get the delay fair. HLB was able to mash out of that. Only 16% here for Void, and he's still on the ledge. Okay. HLB doing an incredible job right yeah, now. Yeah, he's not giving up yet. I mean, no reason to. If you get the stock, you're at an even game, game three. 
Oh, you're not going to get too much out of that Void, seeing that he got the sour hit of the back air. Couldn't take the combo much farther. And I like this Void taking it a little slower. Now, this is what you're, I, I kind of expected from the FD pick, right? Yeah. Just abusing the needles. You see LHLB doing a lot of jumping, mainly because of you just got to respect those needles. It's a, it's a lot. It's a, it, needles just come with a lot of control on the stage. Wow, that, that, is not a, yeah. that almost KO'd cross Ooh, stage. That's it. But yeah. he gets the snipe. Yeah. He gets the snipe. So HLB's not going to have platforms here to extend the upbeat, but we still could see a setup, but not as early yeah. as usual what? here. Oh, wait, he has no jump. Oh, he has a jump. He teched. Okay. Still a lot of damage. Yeah. The yeah. smash doesn't get the tipper, though. Yeah. How's he going to get back to the stage? Okay. And HLB, honestly, we haven't seen much uh, extension from him. So it, oh, Ooh, yeah, yeah, the punish, the punish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caught him slipping with the neutral B. We've seen HLB do that the entire set. A very common option if you have a projectile as a character. Yeah. Trying to cover yourself as you're coming back to ledge. But Void did an incredible job and just 